everyone, welcome to these Gabby's Dolls and Toys. It is so good to be back. I, I was sick for a little over a week and it hit me pretty hard, but I'm good. I'm okay, I recovered, and um, my family's all okay, we're all good. Um, and I am super happy to be sitting here right now talking to you guys, filming this. This is what I love to do so much, and I think that was one of the hardest things for me was not being able to do this for over a week. That's a long time <laughs> for me not to film. Um, this is what I love. This is this this means everything to me. So it's so good to be back. I hope that you guys are all well. So for this first video back, we are going to be doing a cabbie mail video. It's not a lot. Um, there's only three items in it, but three awesome items and I can't wait to share them with you so if you guys want to see what's in my cabbie mail keep watching <music> Welcome back, you guys. So, the first thing that I'm going to show you is this 25th anniversary Cabbage Patch Kid. She's a, a play along and she's from 2008. And her name is Carolina Beatrice. And her birthday is August 30th. She is a poodle girl. So, she's a wheat, uh, wheat hair, her hair color is wheat or tan and she has the poodle hairstyle so it's the curls all here and then the two ponies coming out that is a very common hairstyle for cabbage patch girls from back in the coleco days and you know the 25th anniversary anniversary is supposed to be like a you know a reproduction of those early kids and i think they did a phenomenal job with this you guys if you've been watching me for a while you know that i love the 25th anniversary um, edition that Play Along did. I love Play Along anyways. I think that they were a fantastic company to have the kids and there's so many editions that I love from them but this is definitely the one on the top. So she is wearing a um, looks like a little white t-shirt underneath the pink elephant romper. So again this is a reproduction of a pretty common outfit back in the early days 1983 1984 when coleco had the kids and uh, this is a replica it looks like it so it's the elephant romper is what it was called and hers is pink which i love and she has on uh, you know little white cotton socks and you can't see the shoes that good uh her sneakers are white with little pink stripes and she comes with a silver spoon they all did you know i am going to uh just I'm not i'm not gonna completely take her out but i am gonna take the outer portion off so that you guys can see her from the head to toe i i think that's a good idea there she is now you guys can really get a good look at her so those are the sneakers i was talking about the little pink stripes on the side and she comes with her adoption uh, certificate, her birth certificate actually, right there. And that says her name, which is Carolina Beatrice again. And there's a little spoon on the side. And it says limited edition. So these were these kids were limited edition. And if you, you if you know this channel, you've probably seen a ton of these kids in videos because. I love them. I love them. It's one of my favorite additions to collect. It really is. Because I think that they did a phenomenal job, you know, reproducing the original kids. They don't like, look exactly like them, but I, I think out of all the anniversaries, it's definitely the closest, I think. Uh, well, the 15th was really good too, though. I, I have to say that. But I think the 15th was, that was done by Mattel, and I think there were only girls. This edition was cool because they had preemies, they had girls, boys, uh, and then they had actual babies, the, the play-along babies. There's just so much. I have a video 
on the 25th anniversary. I have tons of videos on Play Along, the company that produced the 25th anniversary. So if you guys are interested in them, check them out in my library. Uh, maybe I'll I'll leave some links for you guys. That would probably that would probably be very helpful, right? All right. So this cute little girl right here with her looks like her eyes are uh, like a purplish blue but she is just too cute and i love the passy face kids anyway so yeah i had to get her i'm very very happy with her but she's gonna stay in the box because she's very special and she came to me like this and yeah this is her but don't worry she still gets displayed she just she just stays in the box and another play along this is a play along corn silk girl i'm not sure what year she's from uh but oh my goodness she's so cute i love this head mold this is a such a great head mold and forgive me i do not know a lot about the play along head molds i know coleco and hasbro are pretty good but i, I don't know anything beyond that uh I just know I've seen this head mold before and I I think I have a few in my collection but it's one of my favorites so cute so she's got the, the open mouth with the teeth the two teeth up top and oh she's just everything she's so cute so she's got like a auburn I'd say yeah an auburn hair with blue eyes very very pretty uh, skin complexion her outfit is just OMG like, it's so cute it reminds me kind of like a, a, a like a I would say like a hippie outfit with a modern twist I guess and I love it I absolutely love it and I and I love you know the 60s 70s stuff anyways like I love that whole time period and and that's what she she's giving me that but like a modern version of it too cute I love it so much I'm gonna actually do the same with her I'm gonna take the olive off so that you can get a really good look at her because she is just too cute you don't want to miss this one everything Oops, her box is not the greatest uh, so I'm probably not even going to display her and I'm probably going to display her just like this because the box is kind of kind of crummy her name is Patty Katie and oh my goodness so it looks like she's got two little ponytails on the side and she has a little scarf on her head a little Oh my goodness, it's so cute. I remember back in the early 2000s, I used to wear things like that on my head. <laughs> I remember this whole fashion vibe and, and I loved it. She's too cute. The pink and the blue look so adorable together. She is everything. Oh my goodness. And look at the chunky pink boots. <laughs> She's too cute. Oh, I love her. Love her, love her. Uh, it doesn't... Oh, yeah. Her birthday is June 11th. Yeah, she's sweet. Uh, and look, she even has a little braid right here coming down. I hope you guys can see that. A little braid coming down. Oh, my goodness. She's so cute. Oh, I love her. Oh, she's got two braids. One on each side. Oh. Oh, she's everything. You are too cute. Yeah, she's not gonna go back in the box. I'm gonna, I'm gonna display her just like that. Very cute. All right, there's one more thing that I need to show you guys. And it's right here. This is vintage. This is like really vintage. So this is from the Coleco days when the Cabbage Patch Kids first came out. And I noticed that almost everything that they made during that time by coleco had the the, the the packaging was all very similar so see the back of this box looks just like the back of an old coleco cabbage patch kids box and it says the legend of the cabbage patch kids there's um art, the artwork shows xavier young you know tending to the cabbage patch and this is very cute i'm gonna read this to you guys because i don't think i've done this in a while the Legend of the Cabbage Patch Kids. Many years ago, a young boy named Xavier happened upon an enchanted cabbage patch. 
where he found very special little people who called themselves Cabbage Patch Kids. To help fulfill the Cabbage Patch Kids dream of having families with whom to share their love, Xavier set about building a special place known as Babyland General, where the kids remain until each is chosen for adoption. Won't you adopt a Cabbage Patch Kid and fill a little heart with love? So, if you did not know the legend of the Cabbage Patch Kids, now you do. <laughs> you know? And it's nice to know. It's a nice little story. I like it. I've heard it before. So. But I wanted to share it with you guys. <laughs> okay, so this is a snuggle close carrier. I believe I had one of these when I was a kid. I don't know if I use it. I, I had I had quite a few accessories. So this is what it is. So you just like see the little girl in the package. So she's got her baby in it to keep her close. And you know they make these for real babies, for human babies. I say real babies, human babies. So you, yeah, so you put it. Let me see. <laughs> I'm going to demonstrate this thing. Um, I, I don't know if I'll ever use it, but I just thought it was cute and it was pretty inexpensive. So yeah, so you put it like this, strap it, and then you put the baby right here. <laughs> I had to do it. I had to do it. It was cute. You never know, I might find a little girl to give it to one day or something for her. But it's cute, so it's got the pattern. This was a very popular pattern back then. Um, the Cabbage Patch Kit accessories and stuff. Almost everything, all the accessories kind of, you know, went together. They all kind of matched. And I like the colors. Very pretty, like pastel -y greens and yellows and pinks and blues. And it's nice. Not really, well, I don't know if it's pastel, but very soft, very, very soft. So yeah, so that's it. That is it, you guys, for this week's Caddy Mail video. Uh, thank you so much for, for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure that you, you know, leave me, say hello or whatever in the comments. I always love hearing from you guys you have any questions you can always put that down there too and uh yeah it's so good to be back i'll see you guys in the next video please don't forget to like share and subscribe bye